so welcome back and this is a really exciting um, vlog this week so as you may know if you have watched Chessie's vlog um, on her hen party then I went along with Helena and Rach um, and it was just a really good time and I also filmed a little few bits whilst I was there and also on the way down um so Rach kindly drove me and Helena um down to Bath and we stopped off at the Neptune outlet so I know there's a new one opened up in Leeds but it's a little bit smaller which is a little bit closer to us um being northern girls but it doesn't quite compare to the one down south and it is only like 50 like 45 minutes from where we were staying in bath so it was like right we have to make a stop off when we go down there so i also have a little few clips of us looking around the neptune outlet and there was also i can't quite share it yet but they have some done up rooms in there like like the normal neptune stores do they have like display rooms when you go and in there they had released some of the new spring collection and we can't share it yet until it's out i believe it's going to be out like very shortly sometime in march so we should be able to share that soon so i can't show you any of these showroom clips because we were allowed to take content but we're not allowed to share it until the spring summer collection comes out and uh, but there are some beautiful beautiful things in the new collection and i can't wait to show you so keep your eyes peeled for that because i will be popping it on my youtube as well um but yeah i did pick up a few bits whilst i was there obviously so i shall be sharing what i picked up we're from Neptune with you as well. And then as well as the Neptune outlet and some of the clips from the Hendo, I have also got some things from Georgia Asda to show you that I have done, ordered recently. Um, I've also placed another order yesterday. So I've got some more stuff coming because the new Stacey Solomon collection is out for the spring. And as you know, I've done quite a few vlogs and stuff in the past of the of what i've picked up in the stacy solomon collection um this collection wasn't all my kind of thing i loved it i absolutely loved it but majority of it was like lilac and i love lilac it's like one of my favorite colors like pastel colors but it won't really go in our house especially our bedroom like i loved the bedding um but it's just not for us but i did pick up some other bits from there so when that comes, I'll also show you some of the new bits from the new Stacey Solomon collection. But I also thought as it's, so this vlog will be going out and it'll be like the 2nd, 3rd of March. What day is it today? I don't know. But yeah, it will be, it will be early March. And I thought what I could do is a bit of a sum up of my favourite things throughout February, like beauty bits, food bits, what we've been watching, what I've been reading and yeah I thought I would share something like that with you of my February favourites so that's something new and exciting <laughs> so yeah stay tuned for that as well. So I'll start off with the few clips that I've taken of the Neptune visit, our trip down to Bath and Chessie's hen party and I'll be back with you to show you what I picked up from Neptune. <laughs> Okay, so we just stopped off for some lunch. So we're at Ascot. I've got um, Asian chicken and tandoori fries. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm excited. <laughs> so we're on our last stop off before we get to Bath, and we are just at the Neptune outlet. I'm so excited. <laughs> Two fifty as well. Was well, six, no, six hundred quid. Yeah, see, these are dead cute, aren't they? Just to put out, and they have the full size ones. I don't 
don't think they have the full size, do they? Ah, essence though. And we've got the tulips in here. Second pass. Yeah. Yeah. I've always loved these. 36. You get quite a few on one, don't you? And we've got all the shades too. 38. How nice would that be on a little lamp? I also have the little only out in here. So for the base, right How nice are these little plates? Let's have a look how much they are. Yeah, so these are £17 and I think they're just so versatile. You could literally style it anywhere, like in the middle as a centrepiece, in your kitchen table, or just like in your bedroom, on your dressing table, or whatever. Yeah, I think it's just so lovely. I'm gonna get that, I think. <laughs> Does the house look? Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, so actually when they came back for the third weekend and I'm so pleased that Chess enjoyed herself and it was Bridgerton themed absolutely loved it like I love Bridgerton too and it was it was just a really perfect Hindu weekend and it couldn't be planned any better by Chessie's sister like we all thoroughly enjoyed it it was a really really good weekend and I can't wait for the wedding now but I still don't have a dress so I really need to get dress shopping but I just can't find any I've actually got a couple on the way and I need to try them on when they arrive so yeah fingers crossed it's that time isn't it it's a funny time between now and because it's like a spring wedding but there's still like winter stuff in the shops and I would just want some kind of nice spring dresses to come out right about now would be nice um so yeah I keep browsing online but hopefully one of these dresses that I've ordered does the job anyway so what I picked up from Neptune I only got a few bits um so one of the favorite things I picked up I spotted this and I was like yes that would look perfect that I've got an ideal place for this and the Neptune lampshades are quite expensive as they are like I wouldn't pay full price for one um but I spotted this and it is still steep but at the end of the day I'm going to keep this and it's just the perfect staple like Neptune fabric piece as well so this was meant to be I believe 52 um, and I got it for £38. So it is, again, it's still quite expensive, but it's not quite the £52 that you would normally pay. But I just loved it and I thought it would look really nice, like for, I don't know if I've shared this area, I think I have on my YouTube before, but my hallway, yeah, I would have, because I would have shown like Christmas styling and autumn styling and stuff. Um, so in my hallway, I've got a console table, well, my landing, not my hallway. And I've got like a Dunelm lamp on there, which is pretty similar to the Neptune dupes anyway. And I thought it would look lovely with this Neptune lampshade on to make it even more Neptunified, if that's a word, but I've just made it up. So um, yeah, we can now add that to the dictionary. <laughs> um, so yeah, I thought it would look really beautiful on there. And yeah, I filmed a little reel and I'm going to put that up as well on my Instagram of popping this on that lamp so you can see what it actually looks like in position. So yeah, if you want to have a look at that, check out my Instagram as well. And I'll probably actually put the reel up on here. I need to do that a little bit more. I need to do some shorts on here as well of what I put on Instagram put on here because I'm aware that not everyone on here has Instagram too. Another piece I picked up was... We actually all went for this. Like, I picked it up and was like, yes, but it looked perfect, like, in multiple places around the house. And I thought it was a really reasonable, pr reasonable price as well. So, we all picked up this plate. Now, this is from the Bosley collection, and it's called the Bosley Platter in white. And this was £17. Um, I can't actually see, I don't think it has a price for the original, um, how much it was because I, oh yes it does, £24, so it's normally 24 and it was 17 but I thought this would look perfect, like everywhere around the house, so I thought it would look lovely as a little table centrepiece, maybe with some like candles on or just underneath a vase, just um, as it is. Oh, yeah, with some candles on, a little bit of moss and foliage. I thought that would look really pretty. But also like a bedside table with um, like your jewellery on there and a few little bits and pieces. I just thought that would look really nice like all around the house. It would just look 
yeah really good everywhere even like on um a coffee table or anything um so yeah it was 17 pounds and i just thought it was really really pretty then the next piece i picked up was this platter um so yeah we went a bit platter mad but i got the only platter um so these are meant to be £30 and this one was £21. So this is in the walnut shade. And I think the reason it's in the outlet is maybe because it's got a few like printing issues on there. So I think there's a few like over overlay prints. But other than that, it's pretty beautiful pretty spot on like it's beautiful so I thought this would look really nice on my pantry shelf in my kitchen um or just stood up on the side of the counter um with some bits in front like your you know your oils and your salt and pepper and stuff like that just stood up there just to hide some plug sockets as well it's a really good idea to do that um, so yeah, I really, I wanted this for ages. I've got a platter up on my pantry shelves at the minute. It's the, well, again, one from the Stacey Solomon range that I picked up, but I think I might switch it out for this or again, just put it on my worktop somewhere. And then the last pieces I picked up are some pieces for the bathroom. So I found the last one of these. So I've got, I don't intend to use these. These are just purely for display purposes, purposes only. I actually rarely have baths, like I'm more of a shower girl. Like I only ever have baths when I'm like got full of a cold and it makes me feel better or just, just when I feel like one, but I very rarely have one. Not that I don't bath or shower, but yeah, I'm more of a shower girl than a bath girl. But I thought these would look beautiful on the side in the bathroom because as you can see, if you can see in there, it's got some like gypsophilia inside and you can probably see better there and I just thought that looked really really pretty and then I got the matching bath salt as well so I just thought these two together on the side in the bathroom would look really beautiful or either on my little wooden um bath board as well they would look lovely on there and then also I picked up the soap because it just kind of felt a bit left out when I picked these two up um so this was should have been 12 pounds reduced to eight pounds and again there's nothing wrong with it it's just um reduced in there and these should have been um there's no price on this one but I think they should have been 20 or 25 and reduced to 15 pounds so yeah happy with all my purchases from there and then for the bits that I picked up from Georgia Asda so I just picked up a few bits I mainly saw one thing in there that I was I made this order for so I will save that till last um but I saw these bits as well and I, I was like I love those so I got them as well um one thing we do need is a new bedding set for the guest room so I saw this and I instantly fell in love with it. So I picked up this set and it's like a neutral. Can you see it on the on there? So it's like a neutral floral pattern and then white in the middle. Um, and you can also have it in the reverse, which is just all floral. It kind of reminds me of the William Morris like pure poppy bedding, I thought. Um, I'll see if I can get one of the um, pillowcases out because they're normally just in the middle, aren't they? Here we go. And they've got a bit of paper in the middle. I don't want that crinkling away whilst I'm talking. Let's take that out. So, this is, I'll cover my face up. This is the pillowcase. So, this is the one side of it. So it has, again, the white and then just the neutral on the other side with the floral pattern. You can see it's kind of like a watercolour pattern. And then on the reverse, it's just all the floral design. Oh, I just love it. It's so beautiful. And I thought it was so affordable as well. Okay, so are you ready to find out how much this bedding set was? £18. £18 for a king size. 
like what like that is insane and the double price is 15 pounds the single is 12 pounds you can't fault that can you that is such a good price and it's such beautiful bedding as well and just for the guest room like i don't need anything extravagant and expensive so that's just perfect so the next thing i picked up was actually whilst i was in the store i saw this and i thought it was really pretty um i can't remember how much it was i think it was like 10 pounds um but i thought this really reminds me of the neptune corinian vase like how similar is that it's not got the like crackled effect on it but it's pretty much bang on and from a distance you would not be able to tell and then inside it has these putty willow stems but i thought these were actually really pretty putty willow stems as well because it's got little green leaves on um, and they look quite realistic so yeah i thought that would look really really lovely so yeah i got that as well and then also online i picked up this now i believe this was 12 pounds this like greek um vase now it is plasticky i thought it would be actual pot but no it's a little bit plasticky but you can't tell from the look of it you can only tell if you like pick it up because it's quite light and yeah you can tell um just by touching it but from a distance and just by looking at it you would not be able to tell at all it does look quite stone effect um but yeah this was 12 pounds and it's a pretty decent size so i picked that up as well i thought that would look really nice with some new spring flowers in especially those ones that i picked up from um, home sense in my last vlog as well so yeah i thought those look really nice and then the pieces that i picked up that i made the order for were these are you ready so i got four of these i know they don't look anything special but if you can tell they are bubble glass green glasses and i was really needing some tumblers like i bought from the stacy solomon collection again some glasses um in one of my vlogs that i posted before i bought some glasses some highball ones and i really needed some new tumbler ones because the ones that i've got i've had for years um i got them just from aldi and they're starting to wear a little bit now so i picked up these and i thought these are similar not the same because they're a different kind of shape but very similar to the neptune ones now the neptune ones i believe are like eight pounds a glass so to buy a set you know you're talking like 32 pounds plus if you want more than four so i picked up a set of four and these were 10 pounds for a set of four so just over the price of one of the neptune glasses so you are saving like how much 22 pounds by getting these asda ones and yeah they are just really pretty as well they also do them in like an amber glass color and maybe a clear i think but i will link the green ones down below and then you can search any other color on asda as well that you like so yeah that's everything haul wise i've got to show you um so now i thought i will show you some of my things that i've been really enjoying throughout february first up i am going to show you some of the beauty bits that i've been enjoying so one thing i could not recommend enough and i've been using this day in day out i have it on now and i literally i don't remember the last time that i did not use this i've been using it for even events and stuff because it's just really 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 good um and yeah, I've just been picking this up over any kind of foundation as well. So it is the Super Stay Maybelline Skin Tint. I go for shade 2 when I don't have a tan on. And it does have vitamin C in there. But it just goes on really, really well. It's really good coverage. And it just sits on your skin really nice. It just makes it look really smooth and 
yeah it just really does things for my skin like i absolutely love it it just looks flawless like i think so yeah i really really recommend this i'm literally on my third or fourth bottle now i adore this use it day in day out so yeah i bought i think maybelline had in super drug i bought there was like a three four oh no buy buy two get a third free or something like that and i just bought all three of these because there was nothing else i wanted over these because it was just i know i'm going to get my use out of them i'm going to use them all the time and then another thing I picked up from Superdrug. Now I've seen this like all over TikTok and I thought, right, is it going to be just a hype or is it actually going to be um, actually true? So this setting mist, like I'm, I've still not found a setting mist that really doesn't shift your makeup all day. But this one, let me tell you, is so good. So good. Like... It smells a little bit like hairspray and it's L'Oreal, so it, it looks a little bit like hairspray too. So it's the L'Oreal Infallible Collection, um, three second setting mist. And it says it has 36 hours, no transfer. And I just want to kind of show you like how transfer proof it is. So I'm just going to pop, um, that might not be the best. Um, Color choice. Let me just see if I can find a bit of a darker shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two swatches on my hand, okay? And I'm going to put some of the setting mist on to this one and let that dry. And then I'll show you how transfer proof it is like it's just so so good so this was 9.99 i think from superdrug but i think you can you can buy it online obviously you can buy most l'oreal things online so this one i didn't put anything on there and obviously you can just like kind of rub it off and then this one does not move like as i can rub it so hard and it just doesn't come off obviously your makeup will come off like if you use a cleanser and you use like a cleansing balm like i do or use a makeup remover it will budge but it just will not come off with that setting mist like i can't tell you how good it is like honestly if there's one thing you buy from this youtube let it be this and that. <laughs> Uh, yeah and then also the other things i've been loving so i'll start off with base products first so this primer like this is my second tube now um it's the beauty crop and it is the xxl gripping primer now this makes your base really really tacky and you can literally like feel the tack and the stick when you put it on and leave it for a minute before you apply your foundation or your skin tint or whatever you're applying on top of it and it really helps to keep your makeup in place all day so this and this combined are like a little dream team power couple when it comes to wanting your makeup to last all day long um, another base product that i absolutely love and i've recommended this on instagram before um i kind of would have like showing you how it works but basically i have rosacea on my cheeks and my nose is quite red as well under makeup and when i don't want um to wear makeup or I want like a makeup free day i'm a bit conscious about my redness so what i do is i pop on this which i've seen recommended so it's the sicker dr jart tiger grass color correcting treatment and in the pot it's actually a green color and then once you take a little bit out and you apply it to the skin it actually turns when you rub it into the skin so you can see it's green but it turns into like a foundation-y type color and matches with your skin so obviously when you put that onto your face it just kind of 
provides a coverage but it reduces all the redness too and it just works really really well at reducing redness but is not makeup or foundation if you don't want to wear that so this i highly recommend if you do suffer with redness and then another base product is the vita Librata beauty blur face and this really works well it's because it's it's perfect it says on the bottle perfect for complexion with tan so it's a little bit like the charlotte tilbury force filter in the fact that it looks a little bit like that like it's got a little bit of a glow to it but also it contains a bit of tan so if you don't tan your face but you've got tan all over the rest of your body which i like obviously when you're washing your face all the time your tan ten tends to fade a little bit quicker than it does the rest of your body so i pop this in so this is like a really good essential for coming up to spring summer when you are getting a little bit more of a tan or you don't have you have a natural tan as well but you don't have a natural tan on your face this is really good just to like complement your tan and wear on your face and it just provides a little bit of coverage as well um and then the other things are these jordana t-shirt blushes like i'm loving jordana t-shirt at the minute so i love these because they are two compartments in one so in the bottom you get a cream and in the top you get the matching powder shade so i've got this shade which is called talking stage which is more of a coral color and then this one i use day in day out and i've been using this for months and months and months and it very rarely budges um so it's gonna last me for ages and then that's the powder color on top it's perfect for like every day and this is called it's casual then again with the jordana t-shirt i've been using the powder so this is in half baked so this is the setting powder and in the bottom you get a loose powder and then in the top you get a matching pressed powder so again that makes your makeup last even longer when you use both together and then the same for this now i found this to be a great dupe for like the chanel bronzer and i've been using this every single day and it's just made a little bit of a dint in the middle like you hardly need much at all it will last me forever and again it's got the same shade matching shade press powder on top so i think they're just really handy because you get the matching powder and the cream all together in one so it's really perfect for putting in your handbag you can actually buy smaller ones than these so i've got the larger ones because i use them every day but if you want them to take in your handbag as well they do have travel size ones which is really handy so yeah i will link everything i have mentioned down below as well in my beauty february favorites then one more beauty kind of product but not makeup related is this actually well it kind of can be so i have been using this which is the got to be glued um and it comes in like a kind of mascara type wand and it's great for like flyaways so you can use it just to scoop back and make your hair a little bit more slick back or if you struggle with short like baby hairs it's great to get those away as well so it just tidies up your hair a little bit on top but then also it's great to go through your brows and make your brows a little bit more controlled and um, in shape so yeah i've been using this all the time all the time love it then a little bit of a random one so february favorites food related items <laughs> which is so me <laughs> um 
we nipped we never been here in a long time since we've moved to be honest because we don't really live very close to one and we would just happen to be on a retail park that had one and we popped in just to have a little browse and we picked up these because there was i think it was two for six pounds no three for six pounds maybe um on lollies and it, these are from food warehouse so i picked up these um so i love anything apple flavored obsessed so i picked up these tango apple sub-zero tang lollies again i love anything tangy sour yes it's definitely me so i've been loving these they are as well they're only 53 calories so they're a great little dessert if you want something and you're on like a calorie deficit and you're trying to watch what you eat in so they are a great little snack to have as well if you're just having a bit of a sweet tooth moment and then also i love these sweets absolutely adore them and then i saw them in lolly form so they are the drumstick squashies but the cherry and apple flavor and they do them in lollies i, I was right there i was all over these and these are so so good so if you see these in food warehouse as well and you like the sweets they are good they are very soft so you've got to watch when you're opening them because they can stick to the packet but they just taste really good even if you just pop them in a bowl and just eat them with a spoon because they were quite soft um but yeah they are really 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 tasty so highly recommend those as well if you go into food warehouse keep your eyes peeled for those i don't know if you do them in iceland as well because i know food warehouse and iceland are kind of like together they're kind of like the same chain aren't they the same brand and then what i am going to show you as well is some of the books i've been reading so if you don't know i go to book club <laughs> so we set up like a bit of a book club someone put on our like estate face got estate i can't even get my words out someone put on our estate facebook group like was anyone interested in doing a bit of a book club and quite a few people responded and i now am um, in attendance at the estate book club so it's really really lovely it's actually pretty much we're all kind of a similar age range the people who go most months and we're all ladies and it's just a really nice like we get some snacks in and we have some a cup of tea and some drinks maybe and just have a lovely chat and then we talk about the book a bit and then pick our next book and it's just really nice but it's really nice to also make friends like local friends because um a few of us you know haven't lived in this area before and yeah it's just really nice to make some new local friends so this month's book was so good like so so good so it was let me see if i can get it on the, my kindle screen it was the housemaid by freedom mcfadden now i never really read thriller books i was definitely a romance girl before i started book club never read a thriller i want and the reason i wanted to go to book club as well was i was getting back into my reading and i thought i really want to make some like I just want to venture into other genres and oh my goodness this is one of the best books i've ever read okay then we read i'll pop them up on the screen the book comes up on the screen because i don't have them on my kindle or anything um i read the housemaid secret on top of that because i enjoyed the housemaid so much the housemaid secret if you don't know is the second book to this one and that was even better than the first one in my opinion then because i enjoyed these two so much i started and i finished never lie by freedom mcfadden and that was even better like if you read any book any thriller book right now please let it be never lie by freedom mcfadden i absolutely loved it loved it 
and I did not see the twist coming at the end. Like Frida's twists are up there. They are so, so good. So I am definitely going to be reading more Freedom McFadden books. I put it out there now. So yeah, Never Lie was my number one. Housemaid Secret was number two and Housemaid was number three. But they're all like 10 tens. Like all of them. Really, really good. And then I also started um, in the month of February to venture into fantasy and I've never really read fantasy before again like I said I was more of a romance girl obviously I've read some of the Harry Potter books I've not read all of them don't come for me but I've obviously loved the films I'm such a Potterhead but I have never really read anything else like in terms of stuff that's not on TV, etc., or a film. So I started my journey into fantasy by reading Fourth Wing and then Iron Flame. <sighs> These are so, so good. Really, really good. So they are about like a dragon school and um everything Violet does to get through Dragon School and it ends up at Dragon School and it's just really really good like I cannot recommend these enough if you are into fantasy and you've not read them before again they're quite um they're a bit of a romantic as well so they have got a bit of spice in there if you like a bit of spice um but yeah they are really really good so highly recommend these two as well if you are into fantasy and then because I read those and enjoyed them, I started on Akatar. So with A Court of Thrones, oh my God, A Court of Thrones and Roses. And I've just been to Waterstone today to pick up the second one because I really enjoyed this one. But apparently the series gets better as it goes on. There's a lot of world building in this one. Um, and towards the end, I really, really, really got into it. So yeah, I've just picked up A Court of Mist and Fury today, so I can't wait to get stuck into that one. Um, and then also, just as an FYI, I picked up this little bookmark from Etsy, which I thought was really, really cute. It's really cute for spring as well, so it's an embroidered like bookmark. Again, I will link that down below because I recommend that. That's one of my favourite things that I've bought. Um, and then, yeah, so in terms of that, We've also been watching on TV. We've watched Desperate Measures on Netflix. We've literally binged that in like two nights. It's four episodes. And it's really, really, really good. I absolutely really enjoyed it. Um, so if you are after a new little short series to watch and you like a bit of crime, like drama kind of, um, program then definitely watch Desperate Measures as well highly recommend that we've also been watching um The Apprentice absolutely love The Apprentice we're really enjoying this season and also Death in Paradise on BBC if you haven't watched that it's really good it's kind of a bit like Sherlock Holmesy but um it's set in the Caribbean and each episode there's a murder <laughs> and it's a little bit of comedy as well like it's it's quite light-hearted and it's just really really funny like it's um the past few seasons it's had like Ben Miller as the detective it's had Ardell O'Hanlon it's had um and then currently it's Ralph Little um from like the Royal Family if you watch the Royal Family or two pints of lager and a packet of crisp um so absolutely love Ralph Little as well so he is really really good in it so I highly recommend that if you've never watched it it's really really good watch there is quite a lot of seasons now and when we started watching it we did binge like a few because we hadn't started watching it from when it was on telly at the beginning but definitely recommend you do stick with it um so yeah that was really really good too uh anything else we've been watching can't quite think now uh, but obviously Celebrity Brother is back on soon. I can't wait for that. That's back out. Well, when this video goes out, it'll be back out tomorrow. And I can't wait. Who will be watching it? I know I will. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything from my February favourites. Um, so I hope you've kind of enjoyed me sharing these things with you. If it's not something you want to see, let me know and I won't do it again. But if it is, then I'll carry on doing it. And yeah, thank you again for watching. I'm really enjoyed being back and I am loving seeing all your comments and it's just, again, so nice to see you and speak to you all again on here. Um, so yeah, thank you all. And also, thank you so much because on my, on my last video when I posted that, I hit a thousand subscribers and I am now like over 1.1 thousand so I am so so grateful so thank you that was like a big big milestone for me and I'm so thrilled and it's thanks to all of you and your support so I really do appreciate you all so yeah thank you so so much I was over the moon <laughs> um so yeah thank you for watching and if you don't already then do subscribe and please do like this video if you enjoyed it and let me know what you liked about this video as well in the comments below if you enjoyed um more of the haul side of things or seeing what i get up to but also if you enjoyed the february favorites as well and it's something you want to see me do again then i will so yeah thank you all for watching and i shall see you again next time